Thank you for joining me on the continuation of the 2023 Spring and Summer Craft Fair series. Today I'm going to show you how to make this clothespin gift set. The tools you're going to need are some gloss finish decoupage medium, scissors, magnet, a paintbrush, scraps of pattern paper and of solid cardstock, as well as a paper trimmer. You're also going to want some of these mini composition books. You get three of them for a dollar at Walmart. And we're actually going to start right here. All right, this piece of cardstock is measuring in at four and a half by two and three quarters inches. And I'm going to go on and cut both pieces. Using the top of my notebook as the guide, I'm going to line the paper up on the top and then the rest of it will fit right in place. And then the same thing for the back. Now that we've covered this notebook, we're going to go in and cut off the excess scrapbooking paper with just a pair of scissors. To do this, I like to open the little book and cut off this overlapping material from the back first. And then the front cover. I cut this topper out of both cardstock and pattern paper. And this is a cut file, an SVG file I cut with my Cricut. And you can go to lauriewhitlock.com. I will leave a link down below for this particular uh, topper so that you can purchase it for yourself. I'm just gonna use some regular glue and put these together. The next thing we're going to do is create the backer paper for this project. This piece of cardstock measures four by six inches and the pattern paper measures three and three quarters inches by five and three quarters. We're just going to adhere these together. You can use a tape runner, you could do glue, whatever you like. Let's work on the main elements of this gift set. To begin with, we're going to be working on the clothespins. For our clothespins, we're going to be using some pattern paper. This measures 3 eighths of an inch. It can be pretty much any length you wanted, especially if you're using scraps. As once it's applied, we're going to trim it up with some scissors. You're going to use the decoupage medium to put on top of your clothespin. You don't want too much and you don't want too little. As you'll see in just a moment, I actually did not have enough on there. When I put this into place and then trimmed it up to size, it simply came up. To remedy this situation, I went ahead and added more of the decoupage medium. You're going to want to repeat this process for both of the clothespins.
now that you have the pattern paper onto these clothespins, we're going to seal just one side of it with the decoupage medium. We're going to set this aside while we work on the magnets. I'm going to be using a one and a half inch circle punch for the larger glass flatback marbles and a one inch circle punch for the two smaller ones. We're going to put some of the decoupage medium on the back of our marbles. This is going to act like glue. You can also use regular glue if you desire to do so. And you can use whichever side of the pattern paper that you'd like for these. I'm going to scoot those up and work on the smaller bottle caps. Same thing. We're going to put some of the... We're going to be putting some of this decoupage gloss in the bottom and placing our two circles inside. Now, I did purchase some domes for mine. And I actually have had them for a very long time. They look like this. You can buy them from Amazon. Now you don't have to do this. You could simply go over this one more time with a little decoupage medium, just like that. And let them sit up until they're dry. Or you can use these um, self-adhesive plastic domes. This will dry completely clear. I'm not worried about that at all. Okay. Now, before I put these two aside, I have some magnets that actually have some adhesive on them. That's going to go on the back. And it's going, then we're going to set it aside to dry. We're going to trim the excess paper from behind these flat back marbles. They're just clear glass. You can also sand off the excess if you want it to be a little bit more distressed. Once these are dry, if you see a haze, simply wipe it down with a baby wipe or a clean washcloth going to be checking on our clothespins. They are dry. I don't know if you can see the little bit of shine on those on camera or not, but they do have a nice shine. So let's go ahead and work on the packaging next. To attach my pieces, I'm going to be using some scrapbook adhesives. This is actually for vellum, but it works really well for this type of project. Decide where you want your clothespins first. You can always put this down and decide where everything's supposed to be before you start. I already know what I want, so. And then we'll put the smaller pieces. So, on the side that we did not apply any glue, we're going to put some of this tape runner on. These will come off cleanly when the recipient takes these out of their packaging. Same thing with the magnets. Now that I have the scrapbooking paper underneath my magnets, I'm going to turn them upside down. And using a little hot glue, I'm going to apply my magnets. These magnets have a little dot or a little dimple in the middle. That's actually the side you want facing up. And same thing for this little guy. We're going to also attach these to our backer board using some of the vellum adhesive. You can use removable adhesive, obviously. I encourage you to use what you have for this type of project. First, I'm going to put our little book into the packaging. I did decide to tie a little ribbon on mine for a closure.
Now we're going to put our magnets and clothespins that we've put on the backer board into our bag. I will be charging $3.50 a piece for this project at my craft fair. Here is our project all finished. Thank you for joining me for the continuation of the 2023 Spring and Summer Craft Fair series. If you haven't and you'd like to be, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give my videos a thumbs up and share them on your social media. Have a great day. Stamp happy. Be a blessing. Bye for now.